I think we've got four or five families this morning dedicating children or excited to do this. And uh, before calling the families forward, I just want to take kind of a little minute here to tell you exactly what we're going to be doing. And we'll be calling upon several parents to come forward in order to dedicate their child to Christ this morning. And uh, many of these kids, children, are very young. And in fact, the majority of them have not come to know Christ yet. There are a few who have, a few that have already followed the Lord in baptism. Uh, But for those who have not, I have a letter that I'm going to be giving, and I just wanted you all to know what the letter is. I wanted to read it for you. Uh, This is a letter that I'm giving to the parents to give to their children when their children Come to personally know the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's what it says. Dear so-and-so, I was honored today to officiate the special ceremony in which you were dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. On this day, July 18th, 2021, your parents brought you to church and made a promise to you, to the church, and most importantly to God, that they would raise you up in the ways of God. As your pastor, I promised that I would lead a church It would help assist your parents in this endeavor of dedicating your life to the Lord. I promised to lead a church where the Bible was taught to all ages so that our young people could learn the ways of God. The congregation of our church, the Well Worship Center, also publicly stood to declare that they too would live as examples to you. All of these promises are intended for one purpose. That ultimate purpose is leading you to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Your parents, your church, and I have all pledged to do our part to lead you to Christ. However, truly turning to Him by faith and believing in Him as your Savior is a decision that only you can make. And if you're reading this letter today, it's because you've made that decision. On the day that you were dedicated to the Lord, I gave this letter to your parents to be given to you when you placed your faith in Christ Jesus. I wrote this letter because I wanted to be able to say a few important things to you when you gave your life to Christ. First, congratulations on giving your life to Jesus. There is no greater decision you will ever make in your whole life than the decision to follow Christ. Second, I want to encourage you to get baptized as soon as you can. Baptism is your way of telling the whole world that your sins have been washed away and that God has given you a new life. And third, I want to encourage you to keep growing in your faith. You do this by learning to read your Bible, by learning how to pray on your own, by being faithful to church where you can worship with other Christians and learn the scriptures when they are taught by your teachers and pastors. Congratulations on giving your life to Jesus. God has great plans for you and your future Sincerely, Pastor Joplin Emerson. So all of our kids are going to be getting one of those today, along with their certificate. And before asking our families to come forward, I just want to quickly state that what we're doing, child dedication, it it kind of declares three important foundational truths. Number one, that these young people are precious to God. That their lives are sacred because they are created in God's image to have the capacity of being able to personally relate to him. Number two, in spite of the fact that these children are young, innocent, we recognize they are still sinners, and they need dedicated to the Lord. And when they come of age, they will need to be redeemed, for they, like all of us, are helpless to merit their own salvation. And number three, we're dedicating them to the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, we're declaring that Jesus is the rescuer. Jesus invited the little children to come to him because he knew better than anyone else did that they needed him too. Acts 4.12 tells us there is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven whereby which we must be saved. This morning, those of you parents um, that have children that you'd be dedicating, um, I will ask in your solidarity of these statements, if you will come forward at this time and just kind of line up up here in front of the stage. You're going to be on this side of the altars, 
It'll help our people running the sound back there if this mic is as close to the stage as possible. Who's going to run the mic for me? Brittany? I want to take a minute here to introduce these families to you. We have Caleb and Sarah Johnston over here first on your right. Today they are going to be dedicating Lucy. Next we have Mark and Chelsea Bradshaw. They're going to be dedicating their children Genevieve and Levi today. And then we have Aaron and Ariel Schrag. And they are dedicating Tabitha and Mildred Marie, Ellen and Hadassah. Next, we have Derek and Kaylee White. They're going to be dedicating their baby, Drake. And then Josh and Stephanie Rainey today, dedicating Evelyn, Olivia, and Jacob. I have asked um, all of these here to prepare a little bit uh, on, their, on their own, a prayer over their children and a word of dedication. And uh, they're going to be doing that for you shortly. But before that, I want to read Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 through 7. And these words I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. To all of you parents, I want to say that this commandment of God that we Diligently raise our children in the most holy faith is a command that only you can do in your home. You're the ones who are going to be with your children walking by the way. You are the ones who are going to be with your children when you sit in the house. You are the ones who are going to be with your children at night when you lay down and say your prayers before bed and when you rise. This is your command to teach your children diligently the commands of God. The precedent for the ceremony today... We find a couple of places in the Bible, in the Old Testament. I think of Samuel, who was presented to the Lord by Hannah. I think of Jesus, who is presented by Joseph and Mary in Luke chapter 2. I think about Paul telling Timothy, reminding Timothy that from a child he had known the Scriptures. The purpose of dedication is really to be found in the purpose of you parents. It is ultimately you dedicating yourself to raise your children according to how God has asked you to raise them. Ephesians 6, 4 says, Do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. Do not provoke your children to anger. This ultimately uh, means loving your children and working to bring them up and at the positive God-given self-image that they are fearfully and wonderfully made and created in the image of God. To bring them up. This comes along with the idea of training them. It's a process. It is a lifelong process. And to do so in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. At this time, I'm going to ask our parents to say they've got a dedication, each of them prepared for their own children, and then a word of prayer, and then uh, we're going to anoint the families afterwards. So the Rainey family, you guys can go first. My wife made me prepare this, so I wouldn't forget anything. <laughs> <laughs> so Evelyn and Olivia and Jacob, little do you know, now there were three brothers, you had three brothers or sisters that were expected before you, not understanding why we never got to meet them on this earth, I'll never know. But what I do know is that God had better plans for them and took them to be with him. Then he gifted us with you three. And it is only right to turn right around and give that gift right back to God by committing our lives to raising you in his word and displaying it in our everyday lives and in our home for the world to see that Jesus is the answer. And I know 
I'd like to pray that God put a blessing on, over your lips. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to commit these children to you. Father, I thank you for the opportunity that you have given Stephanie and myself to be the vessels to watch over and provide for, to provide for and to develop these children through your word and prayer. We ask, Father, every day for your divine guidance, compassionate hearts, and endless love and wisdom beyond measure. In every situation, and help us to find the answers, we ask questions when questions are asked to us we are unsure about. We thank you for these answers to prayer, and we ask these things in your name. Amen. Okay. Derek Allen White, your mother and I are dedicating you to the Lord today. We acknowledge and declare that your life belongs to God. It is God who gave you to us, and we in turn give you to God. We commit to raise you up in a Christian home. We will teach you. Buddy, you're getting in my way. <laughs> Patience. Uh, we will teach you in word and in action what it means to live your life for Lord Jesus Christ. And now we pray a prayer for blessing over your life. Drakey, buddy, we, uh, we've uh, had a long road to get here, and we thank God every day for you. We praise God every day for you. Uh, you as well have at least three other brothers and sisters that you'll meet one day. And uh, we uh, praise God that uh, your track to the Lord is faster than mine and uh, that he prays or gives you a wife like he gave me to uh, help me with my moral compass. We love you, buddy. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hadassah, Mildred, Ellen, and Tabitha, Mommy and I are dedicating you to the Lord today just like we did your sister, Sage. Um, we declare that your life belongs to God. Um, it is God who helped Mommy and Daddy find you. So we are giving you to him. We commit to raise you to follow Jesus and obey him. We will teach you to obey him by being an example in reading the Bible and praying to him. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for my girls, and I just pray you can help them to follow Jesus, and I pray you can help Ariel and I to point them in that direction, and that uh, someday they will find uh, godly men that can lead them um, to follow Christ. Amen. Levi, Genevieve, we are giving you to the Lord today. We know that today does not save you. That will be your decision when you are mentally and spiritually ready to make that decision. But it, we are dedicating you, and we are going to do our absolute best to point you to the Lord tell you about him, and continue to ask that you one day give your life in your decision, not just ours, to the Lord, Jesus Christ, to whom the only way you can be saved and spend eternity with God in heaven. Dear Lord, we thank you um, for this day. We thank you for these blessings. Lord, um, we pray that you would Keep us strong and reliant on you in this task. There are no disciples we will ever be more motivated to see saved. There are no disciples we <laughs> will ever love more than our own children. So, Lord, we pray that this first mission field that you've given us, our own family, that we would be faithful to so that we can all go out and further your kingdom as saved individuals outside of our home. Um, we thank you so much for the blessing that you've given us in these two lives, and we pray that we would be faithful to the call you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. Lucy Valentine, your mother and I are dedicating you to the Lord today. We acknowledge and declare that your life belongs to God. It is God who gave you to us, and we in turn give you to God. We commit to raise you in a Christian home, 
and will teach you in word and in action what it means to live your life for the Lord Jesus Christ. And now we pray a prayer of blessing over your life. Dear Lord, just like my dad would say, his children were on loan from Christ, so you are on loan. We know that this period that we have you is very short. So Lord, please help Caleb and I to teach your ways to her, not just by our words, but by our actions and deeds. Father, we pray we raise her to want a true relationship with you, for her to desire to seek and know you. We thank you, Lord, for our Lucy Valentine and the blessings she's been in our life. Amen. Children are blessings and they're given for a fair amount of time, but only God knows. They are our most prized investment. Nothing else has eternal value as the human soul, and we have the most impact on the children that we are blessed with. We are promising to always strive to best, our best to point our children to Jesus, to help guide them in their walk with him. We pray every day for you. As we know trials and temptations will come, hold fast to the promise that you will never face them alone. We are proud of you, Adam, Aaron, for already having professed faith in God and following him in, in water baptism. And we pray that Avalon and Andrew would also one day make that same commitment to God. Lord, I just thank you for the children you've blessed me with. I just pray that uh, Chris and I, we're, we're promising now to raise them to know you, Lord, and uh, do our best. In Jesus' name, amen. Christian, your mother and I are dedicating you to the Lord today. We were told we couldn't have you, but God promised us you and your brother. God fulfilled that promise and gave you, us, gave you to us, and today we declare you are his, and we give you back to him. We commit to raising you up in a Christian home. We will teach you in word and in action what it means to live your life for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we pray a prayer of blessing over your life. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being a God who fulfills promises. Thank you for blessing us beyond what we could have hoped for with the sweetest boys. Today and always, we give Christian to you as we gave Noah. Please guide him, love him, protect him, I pray he grows up to be a man on fire for you, who never doubts who you are in his life. <laughs> who never doubts who you are in his life and lives his life so that others may come to know you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. As Pastor Tony begins anointing, he's going to anoint these families, uh, parents and children alike. I have a quick word to the congregation. Uh, we're all going to pray here in just a moment. There are two things that are important about your presence here today. Number one, being here, you are witnesses to these promises. And when a family has stood and publicly declared what these families have stood and declared, they have given us the right and in really asked us to hold them accountable to these promises, to come alongside them and help them. And as you heard in my letter, one of the things I stated is that we have promised to be here for these families and to be an example for these children. And so what I'm going to ask is that the members of the Well Worship Center and those of you that are here that maybe you're visiting, if you're willing to participate, you're more than welcome to. But in standing in just a moment when I ask you to stand, you're declaring two things. That you have witnessed what has been said, that you are willing to come alongside these families and help them and hold them accountable, and that you personally are willing to be an example to these children of what a God-fearing life looks like. If you're willing to do that with me this morning, would you please stand? And let's pray. Father, we come right now in the precious name of Jesus, and we thank you for the gift of life. God, we are reminded that these children are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image, that they were created by you and for you. And so we pray for these parents that you would help them to raise their children up in your ways. We pray for these children that you would protect them, that you would guide them, that you would lead them, and that you, Lord, would reveal yourself to them as they grow older in their faith, Lord. 
God, we pray for us as a congregation. Lord, help us as a church to be an example, to come alongside these families and be their family, their church family, to help raise these children, teach these children, encourage these children, Lord. And on this day, we dedicate these children to you. They are yours, Lord. Have your way with them, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.